Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, good morning. This is Jeeves here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge, dissecting, pulling back the layers of your favorite suggested track. I'm getting right to it. Brand new band, first time on the channel. From 2017, the band is called Underwing, and the song is called Sunless Seed. So let's get right on this. You guys already know how you can support me. Cups of coffee, check out the headsets, get some shirts, whatever the case is. Link is down below. Can't thank you enough for taking time out of your world to listen to this stuff. <laughs> year and a half later, I'm still totally blown away that people are still listening to my channel. All right, guys, let's do this. All right. Jeez, who is that singer? What a powerful, passionate, punchy-ass voice. It kind of reminds me of, I hate being this is the first time that there's a band on the channel. I kind of, you know, and my small, really small experience in the whole metal scene, I can't help but go back into two phases of music that I've experienced. One is that super proggy, riffy metal of the 70s and the compositions. It's great to sound like a full band in a studio in this recording. I think I've heard so much music on this channel that's, I don't want to say process signals, not process performance, but process signals. You know, you take a guitar and you over process it, or drums, it's over compressed, or bass. So it's, listen to that bass sound. Everything just sounds like it is in your face, coming to you from a recording studio. It's so organic and so authentic sounding. Thank you guys for that, and the engineering is sick. That kick drum is absolutely mental. The riff is really that 70s vibe I'm, I was pulling. It's from that style of riff and stuff that was going on in a lot of the prog rock kind of uh, bands that were coming out of the 70s. His voice, though, does remind me of the early 90s kind of run of, I, I, please, I know some people might get upset, but just that more heavier, darker grunge style of performance. But the whole thing is just raw and it's just visceral. And I needed this on a Monday morning because <laughs> my whole weekend has been feeling over-processed with a lot of work that I've been doing here in the studio. And to hear a band that's just going into a room and knocking one out and sounding as good as this does, this is a killer way to start my week. Let me go back a little bit.
full ELO, Edgar Winter, uh, Zeppelin. Remember I was saying earlier, the 70s vibes and stuff like that. It's completely through and through. Uh, that's how this completely hits me. And it's so authentic, and it's so raw, and it's so, like, flush, what I call flush rock. Flush, not flush, flush. In your face, raw, organic rock. Flush, like flush tone. Um, so, yeah, anyhow, I just had to stop it there after that solo because I just wanted to find a place to stop and say something else. Every time I turned around, I got a new image of what they did is they used the influence of that 70s um, kind of not riffing for riff's sake kind of composition. Because there's, there's, it's non-stop going on here in the unison and everything that's going on. It's non-stop, but it's not just to do riffs. There's, the phrases actually are repeating itself in a way where it's conducive to song structure instead of like, well, where did this riff come from? This riff, this riff, riff this riff, this harmony to this riff, and this and all this is just a lot of stuff. This is taking the strength and the power of all of the kind of music that I hear on this channel and just puts it on one track, and it's just poof, freight train powerful. <laughs> Just maybe, maybe it's just the way I'm feeling today as a, mon as a Monday, and I did have a quite a. a w uh, I love sounding of those uh, uh, the guitars when they kind of unwind their their screamo tube that way. Um, I think it's maybe because this weekend I have been doing a lot of work on some e EDM-ish metal-y kind of stuff that I'm, I'm working on, and um, I'm here in my system here doing this, and and just. You forget how wonderful it sounds when you get just musicians in a room and they play like with what I just heard. You know, it, it desensitized me and kind of reset me going, okay, 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 okay. This is one thing and we, I can process and get all the stuff that I can out of here. But to sit there and hear a band like Underwing and this song, A Sunless Seed, with the, all the raw performances, there aren't a ton of layering going on. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, um, um, extra sauce. There's not a lot of, you know, sprinkles and stuff on top of it to make the song sizzle because it sizzles on its own. The riff is strong. It's pop. Well, the series of riffs are strong and powerful. This guy's voice, speaking of sizzling, is insane. I mean, I listen to voices like that. I don't know a lot about the voice as far as a, as, a, as an instrument, but what it takes in order to perform that, then perform that every night, and then 10, 12, 15, 18 songs a night. Uh, I can only imagine, you know, the kind of uh, workout <laughs> or strengthening. <coughs> Excuse me like me, sizzling, uh, that he does. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much. Uh, this was a nice short one for you guys. Sunless Seed was the song. The band was Underwig. You can find the link for this Spotify down below, and also the links will be down below if you want to support the channel. You guys take care. Have a killer day. Aloha. All right.